Good morning and welcome to the At Home with Roby show. I'm Ashley Davis along with Trent Haston, president and CEO of the Roby family of companies. We're your hosts. Thanks for spending your Sunday morning with us. Whether you're in the car or on the couch, you're always at home with Roby. Visit us today at andrewroby.com. That's Andrew, R-O-B-Y. Dot com. Trent, uh, good morning. Another Sunday at WBT. Labor Day has come and gone. Uh, summer's over, but we can't quite let it go. Today, coming up on the show, we're going to be joined by David King from our coastal division down at Atlantic Beach to talk about beach houses and how to get your get your house built, but then also how to take care of it during the winter when you're maybe not down there quite so much. So, uh, Trent, I know you enjoy the summertime. You're out on the lake, out on the river a lot with your family, but you had a kind of an interesting vacation last week, right, up to Illinois? I did. uh I got some buddies, some really good friends of mine that we go to church together, and uh, I go to church in the Steel Creek area, 265-year-old church, I think, Steel Creek Presbyterian Church. is is very old, very historic, uh, out on Highway 160. You might know it if you go West Boulevard, extended out of town, um, and you turn on the Highway 160, it's the old graveyard on the left. I think they uh, Billy Graham has some family moved there. Wow. Uh, so, but anyway, very agricultural based church. Charlotte, Charlotte's flanking markets are very agricultural based anyway. Yep. And, and these guys, uh, love one of the guys family is, is from Illinois. And, and every year, every other year in Illinois, they have a 50 years of, of farm progress show in Illinois. It swaps every other year. It's in Iowa, and uh, they go when it's in Illinois every year. So he went up, picked up my buddy's uh, dad, stayed at his house a couple nights, and went to this show. I promise you it was a combination of the fair meets, the state fair in Raleigh meets two NASCAR races at once. (laughs) And uh, it was the coolest thing. Literally, we took two golf carts, and he said, well, I'm renting some golf carts. And I said, I have never been. These guys have been before. And I said, oh, man, hanging out with the old fellas got to take golf carts. And I told him yesterday when we got home, I would have not done day two uh, if we did not have these golf carts. Everybody up there had a Gator, had a – they got Polaris, uh, Rangers, I mean – let me tell you, farming in America is strong. These guys are doing well. Um, I bet there was over 5,000 tractors from the 50s and the really? 60s there on display. Wow. Uh, if, you've, if you've never seen people get, get angry about the difference between a John Deere, a Massey Ferguson, and an International Harvester, go up to the Midwest <laughs> and you'll figure it out. But it was a good That's time. That's like a Ford Chevy conversation, right? Man, I bought a Ford hat. For my son and for me and my dad and a uh, pretty cool hat. It's old school, uh, and it's a Ford tractor hat, so it sticks high off the top of my head. Um, but uh, they don't ha- Ford Ford isn't that big relatively in the tractor world. So yeah. I had to I had to work hard to find this hat. <laughs> I about settled for a, for an international harvester hat, but I didn't. So we had a great time. It was fun. It was it's good to travel America and talk to people and meet people. Um, you know. When you meet good people, you're all the same. Hard That's working. exactly right. Yeah, it makes you proud. But uh, I don't know if anybody's ever been to a tractor pool. I I, have. I used Years to go ago. to tractor pools at the old Charlotte Coliseum Damn. when I was a kid. I'm from Shelby. I went to tractor pools all the time. Well, these things are serious, man. <laughs> I mean, tor- it's a combination of torque and speed. So and, you studied uh, uh, tractor pools while you were in Illinois. I learned a couple things. Yeah. I think I picked up a couple points. <laughs> torque and speed. Yeah, I learned I learned the three things you can do with corn. Uh, I, I don't want to say it now. I don't want to say it now. I learned a lot, man. It's Sunday morning. It goes back to Kentucky. So you talked about the flanking markets in Charlotte, and it, it is farmland. You go up to Union County, Cabarrus County, Gaston County, a lot of historical farms there. A lot of them are going the way of, the, of development now. You know, A lot of these developments, are they're becoming suburbs of Charlotte. You don't see that in Illinois, but... It's a little bit of a shame here. You, you lose some of that farmland. Well, we, you heritage. know, we've talked about it. I talk, I talk with my buddies about, uh, you know, Charlotte's agricultural component. We've talked about in the retirement, in, in the senior living side or, or the age age restricted side, the, the, with these agri communities yep. for age restriction. You know, you have the the northwest side, kind of the Coolwood Shuffle Town area. Then you come south, you have the Still Creek area. Then you go go around south uh, over to where uh, Carolina Place Mall is in Ballantyne, you know, and then you get in the Waxhaw. All that was agriculture. Yeah, that was yeah. all farmland. Yeah. Then you get up to Mint Hill. 
I mean, if you circle Charlotte from 40, 50 years ago, it was all farms. Yeah, and, yeah, and you have yeah. generations of families that appreciate that and don't want to lose that. And so many people don't realize that to move here, but South Park was a farm. I mean, you used to go quail hunting over in South Park back then. That was Johnny Harris's. That's right. Uh, yeah. And that's not even Huntland. what's considered outside of Charlotte now. That's considered living, you know, almost downtown for folks that are moving here from outside. Yeah, when I was a kid, I remember Chuck E. Cheese. I live, you know, I live over over on the west side on the river. Chuck E. Cheese uh, was on Highway 51, and it was like a day trip in my mind and my kid little yeah. little kid brain. It was a day trip to go to Chuck E. Cheese for that party, but it was always worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guarantee you, my kid's ears just just perked up right now after sitting at home listening. Che- now they, now oh, I go to Chuck E. Cheese. There's, there's one in Gastonia there. They love the ch- it's one still on 51. I My was out there about there a month time. ago. Birthday party. It's a lot of fun. My, my, my 37th party. birthday party was there. Really? Did no, you get the pizza I'm, or did I'm you get kid. the chili I was at a cousin. I was at a cousin's birthday party. Ski I got ball? a bunch of tokens. How many tickets did you get, Ski Ball? A couple. A couple. All right, buddy. Uh, Another great start to the show. When we come back, it's the end of summer, Labor Day weekend. We're going to talk about the beach. We're going to be joined by David King from our Coastal coastal Division. He's going to talk about some of the projects we have going going on down there. Not only the projects we have, Trent, but, you know, the home maintenance and types of things that we do for your home down on the Carolina coast. You're listening to the At Home with Roby show. Visit us today at andrewroby.com. That's andrew, R-O-B-Y, dot com. Or you can go to wbt.com and click on the At Home with Roby page. Stay with us. We'll be right back. 